Thanks for messing around. The new character, Vincent Doran, is Vampire Survivors. Best looking today. 345. No, 354. Oh, it's close enough. Overhealing slightly increases greed. Greed is doubled while invulnerable. Starts with extra arcana 15. Disco of gold. And for an astounding 1,100. No. 110,700 gold to purchase. Big guy. Well, let's start. That makes him about half as expensive as the big bosses like Ulrox and Megalodrak. Actually kind of nutty. Alright, yeah, I don't think you get the benefit of like anything. I saw nothing. Yeah, it's only the beginning, but I do need Bolero to make sure that I can actually evolve you correctly. A loss. Still, because of that... Let's just go with regular stuff. And funny stuff. Valamoy. Oh, really shouldn't be Clover, but let's try it out anyway. One more projectile. Armor is the most likely one. We'll just grab it so then I can immediately run into the castle and start grabbing stuff. Spell behind it. Oh hey, it's firing out the actual attack from the... No way. This is from the shield rod. Yeah, that's the shield rod attacks. Where's the star... Is it the actual star flail from the game? I remember seeing it. Okay, protection from the front. Blast you with... Yeah, I... Grab empty tome. That lasts half a second longer. Spellbinder does have a possibility. Armagus as well makes sense. It is a shield after all. Sword Brother Blast. Man, it still goes up fast. I should have grabbed the ring. Alright, Empty Tome here first. Hmm. I mean, wings will get me around faster, but Empty Tome is safer. Right, here's one more projectile. And Sword Brothers is good. Iron Shield, base area up 20%, base speed up 20 why is the percentage missing? I noticed that with some of the other characters, is that this it's growth by one or greed by one or whatever. Oh, I should have gone a leech build. That would have made sense, what with the whole overhealing thing. Lately, miss remembered. Hey, it's a disco of golden. Wait, that means you just heal like mad -o. Oh, you could get Sammy tier, can't you? Well, not Sammy, because innate. Sammy has innate stuff. Innate vicious hunger, that's it. That's the word you're looking for, Mezzy. Yeah, I'm talking to the third person. That can't be good. One more. Yeah, it's still fast to go down, and I don't need that many chests. Other all of all, but with what I have, or I won't. He seems up by five. Well, just grabbing random whatever certainly does make you just chew through the area. Armor, because it's high chance. That lasts half a second longer. The shield knock you back mm, does not seem like it. Yeah, he's just like a regular shield. Raw projectiles. Yep. 
It was our our parmay just fall iron shield correctly. It's Elliot with hidden spinning swords. We get sword brothers. Oh no, I player. Weird heaven swords. Well, that's fairly ridiculous. Like any crits. Well, I don't really get a pure crit number like I do in Holo Cure. I guess it's just anything that runs into the shield, does it? Oh, wait, there's a chest that's not too far back. Spellbinder, actually. Instance, what I know is what it is. I can focus on getting. Sonic Dash and Rapida Steel quite quickly. I didn't even have to max Parmages too. That's very nice. Let's get you out of the pool. Grief. Hmm. What gets a lot of crits? Oh right, this path opens up, doesn't it? I read that somewhere. Still, I'm coming here for the teleporter and the gold ray. Armor. Actually, it would be faster just to wait till I have Sonic Dash, then come and grab everything. And the Chroma's mana. Sword brother. All right, one more. On my way to a Sonic Dash. Like, is it critical hits against me? Do those even exist? Yeah, this is like infinite death machine. This might be the single strongest weapon if it crits itself. I only have two luck, too. Hmm. I have to find out how this works. If you just get enough crits, like, what the hell is anything going to do against you? Like, they can't really get in. Well, the damage isn't actually so great, I suppose. Really more relying on the fact that it's enormous. And just a lot. Okay, one of the swords can evolve. Don't know which one, though. You are inexplicably the fastest guy to get down here just because I stopped caring about anything. I'll come back to that chest if I get the armadillo. Da -da 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 -da. Wings of freedom. Okay, so the shield itself is what causes crits. So if you just stick yourself in front of a boss, good god, it's not going to survive. It's just going to face this endlessly. Good thing it can't crit. Oh boy, would that be a nightmare. Well, I want Clover up first, just so it's better. Oh, probably just, just to get out of here. Strangely enough, it's not greed. Actually, no, he gets the bonus to greed for overhealing. Dane's vicious hunger is. I, mean, I guess that means, in theory, he's the best greed farmer. Because he can scale it endlessly beyond anyone else. Oh. I suppose we have to. Well, no, Sammy gets XP off of. Gold. So that's why Sammy is so ridiculous, ultimately. Oh man, this weapon is fairly absurd.
when do the shield rod does the same thing or the iron shield does the same thing just have to dismiss that timer right it's just evolving the shield here I don't need to do anything else it's fully unlocked Mina it's kind of weird that he unlocks her Like, I checked it, and yeah, Sarah is the one who, or Ronaldo is the alchemist with the whip. So, that means it makes sense for Sarah to unlock him. In a digivolt way. Also, I should have realized that already, you know, because I unlocked the alchemist. The alchemy whip. Yeah, sense. That's what I make. I make plenty of sense. Yeah, my thoughts are leaving me. Not that they were over there in the first place, but boy, is it getting worse. And worse, and worse. Mmm, peanut butter. Peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time, peanut, peanut butter butter jelly. Wow, I am completely off. Alright, someone... Dang it. I really should read the names of the comments. But someone definitely did leave it. Sorry, I'm not remembering the name. Yeah. It's not Pharaoh oh Man, I think it was Brandon a Helper. Oh boy. Well, I mean, I could just could pause the game and look it up now, but that would be the intelligent thing. And... Nope, oh, can't have that in a Mezzine Around video. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you're having some fun. Maybe you'd be so kind as to subscribe if you haven't. And thank you anyone who has. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to start chilling at the start of the video now, too. You gotta brand it. You gotta brand it. And yet I choose have a screen name that is not branding it whatsoever. Hey, it's spinach. Why did I just sit there taking that instead of, you know, wean out? You need an armadillo. I can just spawn the bosses, but... Rapidus Fio, not Dio. Hey, what? Oh, you. The thing. And the sword. Boy, is nothing get... Oh, you get the hit limit instantly with this thing once you go crit. Yeah, you get a nice freeze weapon. You can just spam it. Too bad you can't knock anything back into it. Has to be something freezing next to you, too. What does that? I just bring you into sword death. Why'd I do that? I already had it. <laughs> well, I need to actually take down Eyeball. Where are you, eyeball? Do you actually do damage anymore? Oh, maybe that's why I'm not taking so much. The Parmay just has eaten it. Arma, 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 D.E.O. Ooh, more swords, though. But Toronus box. But more swords, but Toronus box. More swords, but Toronto's box. Well, what's with these random heals? They just really get all that gold around. The first time I've actually Xing Jing Shi in true. The first time I've got here, like for 10 minutes for sure, and like the first time really before 20 even. A lot of sword. Yeah, it's definitely something you want to boogaloo on, too. So that way, all those endless swords end up actually hitting things. Ooh, big chestin. Valamway. More levels, more stuff, all the better. Just 
Hmm, Sword Brothers doesn't seem to activate its full animation anymore. Oh yeah, Bracer. Actually, no, that'll make them spin faster, right? It's actually kind of mildly helpful. Damage is more helpful. No. I want your Refectio. Alright, I spent enough time here. Let's go get some Metaglio right. Faster, just speed break through. And then grab the last of the Armadillos. Two Skull. Two Crown. Hmm. I mean, Skull will get me more consistent, but... Nah, Crown is ultimately going to be worth more XP. And I'm reliant entirely on the Boleros. To get stuff. Oh, good. Level up Storm right as I get it. Hey. Hello, Heart. Mana first, more enemies, is more XP. I'll take those hits. Will you? Hey, definitely a good weapon. Base and evolution, that's honestly kind of rare. A lot of the base weapons are not great here. This is definitely one of the best ones of both. Oops. Taking out that farm Aegis damage. Why am I stuck here? Why was that noise there? Arcana. Regular Arcana, too. Well, let's see. Do I actually have anything that can crit anyway? Or slash? Well, let's get Boogaloo. That'll be the best weapon for this for this period. That maxes out the Spirit Tornado, right? Yeah, the ability to always be at the projectile limit is going to be astounding for this. I get beginning, too. I don't even think I got beginning. I got Bolero, didn't I? Yeah. No, let's get hard out of the pool. If it comes to that. Also, I just need to go fight some bosses. I don't think I care about the familiar right now. Not with how weird it causes things to be. So I'll just grab the silver ring. The gold ring and... I'll save level. I won't bother with me tag the left. I should be strong enough without it. Stay still, overheal. Get more greed. He's under 44 greed. Not the greatest amount. Oh wow, real luck on that. Wait. Oh, you have like negative growth or something. Compensate, huh? And yeah, I'm still flying up the levels. Go figure. Is it Valway or Ice Brand that evolves? Valman way. Valman way? That was. Valam way. Huh. I think Valam way sounds better. You know, kind of like Harbinger. Sounds better than Harbinger. Harbinger just sounds so dumb. More enemies is more XP. Wait, I'm in this. I can just sit here. And out heal you. And the left just gets sorted endlessly. Gold Ring base doesn't actually do anything. I need at least one level in it. So as long as I'm sitting here, I'm not. Wow, my kill count's actually quite pathetic. I mean, I'm very safe. But my lack of killing power is noticeable. 
Oh, I didn't get Karamit, huh? Oh, there's my level of swarm. Kaglio, some ring. Make everything bigger, better, and cutting up the enemy. God, it took me too long to realize what that movie title was referencing. And you think I would, because I'm supposed to be a smart fella. I'm not smart. I've never been smart. Faster just actually come up here and switch around. God, I just love going out of pounds basically guaranteed like this. It's so nice. Alright, Kermit. Try and break through this. Hmm, not actually that high of a level. Valero's here too. It wants to help. It wants to help so bad. I only get Sword Brothers. Oh. Ice Brains are freezing quite a lot. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I can't even eliminate it. Well, I guess... This is it. This is my fate. A bubbly old man merchant. I mean, I presume merchant. Like, you got greed. Oh, silver's almost maxed. Gold. Not well, between the healing and the parmy, just they can't hurt me at all. Oh, well, the ice brain is so big that's actually messing up the spawn. Huh. That sword's getting bigger. Doesn't look like they're getting that much bigger. Bubbles are huge, though. Like, good grief. That gets a lot from Candle Labrador. Hey, attract orb. Really, all I had left? No, not even close. Oh, hey, there's a face tree in here. Oh, hey, you broke through. Wait, the sword brothers, or the swords from the Iron Shield, are turning blue. Does the ice brand? Turn anything that shoots through it into a freeze weapon? Or is it just a sheer coincidence? I can't even tell. Or is it just a glitch? Maybe there's just so many ice. I can't tell, it's so big now. Da, 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 da. More bubbles. Actually, I'll be able to evolve that into Morbus. Didn't really intend it, but hey. No, they're definitely blue. I can't tell if they're going entirely. My god, I get such a giant boost from size compared to everything else. Sword Brothers obviously doesn't. It. it just hits everything by default. It's just random always. And of course, it's the one thing that isn't going to have advantage of it. Give me a nice one to solo weapon for once. There's Morbus. Oh, and the sword's evolved, but I guess not. Nope. I just have everything I need. Alright, boss fighting time. Or not. Maybe just park myself out. Hey, there's a boss here. I'm very safe, but my killing power actually doesn't seem that high. Seems odd considering what's happening. I 
No. Wait, you both died. Why didn't I get both? Weird. You know, this might probably be in the safest character from start to finish in a while. He's not getting that kill counter up all that quickly. Okay. 18. Six. Like 10,000. That might be enough to make it. I don't know. It's gonna be hard to tell. Now, obviously, if I had out of bounds, then yeah, this would be just rocking endless house. Come on in. Ah, oh, I should go Wicked Season. That'll really make the difference, I bet. No Arcana chests have shown up. Looks like I'm sitting pretty. Yeah, it took me a while to realize it, but Ice Brand is really just time warp except worse. But still, if you can combine them, you can just walk through anything. I suppose it has more focus team. Can't really control that. Is that? This should be like, if I want to hit the 100k, I'd have to be like 190, but it's not a happening. Did I switch the way my swords are moving? Yeah, it's hard to tell if my damage or my kills are getting higher if I move or not. There are quite a few, and the crown contributes. Yet despite all this... Is that a neutron bomb? I it's just always so random new... Probably because I picked up a neutron bomb. You know, something that would make perfect sense to happen. I can't even check my greed anymore. Oh, his low growth is probably hurting here, too. Really wish you were an Arcana Goblin. Well, I can get Wicked Season soon. That's definitely worth investing in now. And basically unkillable. It'll just make me stronger. Oh, you got stirrable. Level up. Yeah, they can't survive the ice brand, so I'm fine against anything that's short of the boss. And the boss takes a lot of damage. That's strangely not a lot of damage. I agree. It took like a, a whole two minutes to get 20,000. Alright, Arcana should be showing up soon. Yay. Actually, the overhealing goes good with the soul spirit steel, huh? There you are. Nope. Actually, that would be amazing on you. But I'm going for some wicked season right now. The wicked season. Let's get lucky. Damage isn't actually that great. That's why my kills are so low. My unstoppability. And endless greed. Those you can count on. Yeah, even if they double up, they're not getting anywhere through the freeze.
We have a decent amount of levels there for once. Then, with some luck, I pick up a chest, I pick up another chest, I get myself a Pomerola, and then things die. And that shouldn't affect that greed heal, the Disco Gold heal from greed. Man, I'm not even close to maxing out on the area. Considering what's happening on screen, I think my damage in my level is way higher than it actually is. Vicious Hunger, though. You're not gonna stop with Vicious Hunger with him. So few levels. That red gem must be giant. That's a chunk. Let's see, the max area you can get... Well, the max that's allowed is a thousand, so... I think Boogaloo works beyond it, so you'd switch from 500% up to 1,500. Oh boy! Some chests to grab. Yeah, that was a neutron bomb I picked up. Finally, my level. Dang, damn it. And I won't get my skull. And I think I punched a bit beyond where I need. Now it's so hard to tell. Especially because my stats keep getting lower and lower, and I can't see them. I think the UI needs maybe a bit of a switch so I can actually, you know... Keep track of that. Here probably is enough space if you just move things over a bit. I mean, you want it center of the map, but hey. Man, I did not actually get a whole lot out of this. Still, 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 still. A very safe run. A very safe run, all things considered. Very fast one to get stuff up. And yet, despite the fact that I got it up so much earlier than all the spellbook runs, it didn't... it didn't really work out. The Corona's mana, all my passives, well, not all my passives, the skull is still missing. The skull, the skull is missing. Where is the skull? York, York, bring me the skull, York. Oh, hey, Corrosive Man's immune to freeze. That's fun to learn. Alright. I will never learn his real name. Malthus? Ravenwing. It is always going to just be Karasu Man to me. Nothing in the chest. That was like 17 levels. That was not bad. Maybe if I just turn my attention to the other side till the other one goes down. Everything gets frozen so hard. Another Arcana chest? Nope. Why can't you be an Arcana chest? Why can't you be an Arcana goblin? Did I take out the eyeball? Oh, it's nothing but big fat bubbles here. Completely on accident. And there's a couple icicles, too. Hey, a chest. I'll wait till I luck season. And grab that, goodies. Goody, goody, goody. Goody. There's only like three. Levels are so few. Everything. 
Man, does not want to give me this Skullomaniac, huh? Time that double that healing, get my greed even higher. Uh, clearly not a match for Sammy whatsoever, but hey, half a million basically. Ad hoc. It's not a worse score. Vicious Hunger would have pumped that up more severely, too. It's a skull! Oh no! Maniacs! Man, does not want to give me anything from these chests. That's kind of horrifying. Sword! Bravas! Someone has to start with Sword Brothers then, right? Morak starts with Dark Rift. Evergoth starts with a bow. I think I saw someone with Aura Blast and Barog statue. Hmm. Dang. And there have been cases of characters spawning with a... Well... Has every DLC weapon had someone with it? I think so. You can't remember some that doesn't have a weapon. Yeah, every DLC has had every weapon represented by some character. But someone should have the rest of them, right? I just haven't looked at it. Hey, finally a candy box. Oh yeah, I can see if the familiar forge is here. I haven't really gone down to look for it. Yeah, it's tagged as a weapon for whatever reason. Actually, that'll knock down my cooldown, so... That'll be nice to have him for a bit. Look at that big old head. You just want to pet that Kerberos nice and pretty. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, considering I'm right at the end here. But, that's another one down, another one down. Vincent... Doran? Turns out that having a name that I can easily recognize makes it pretty simple. Oh, hey. Oh, wait, it's only if I get damaged it activates the buff, isn't it? Well, that's not happening. Also, man, I'm not even getting it 200. That's bad. That's so bad. Well, the bubbles in the ice are gigantic, at least. It means death actually can't get in, like, at all through this. I think the hit rate's gonna be too high. Like, there's no open space. At all. They're just gonna run in. Or, red death. It's gonna run in and get frozen. Oh, why are you still moving? That's curious. Very curious. Unlocked Mina. Did a total of 70,000 damage from the Iron Shield. And asked to count the evolution. Evolved elite magic mine weapons. Yay! A spectral sword. Wait. If I could do his second thing. Oh, I don't even have a scroll down. Ooh, Dark Iron Shield. 146. It did more DPS than Kermit Morbus, too. Very impressive, that. Ice Brand, also strong. Sword Brothers fell off just because, well, things were dead before it could ever fire. Yeah, Dark Iron Shield is a very good evolution. I don't think I got any secrets. I don't think... Oh, maybe? I don't know what I would have unlocked. Damsel in Distress. I don't... I think I had you already. Summon them. I had a hammer unlocked. Maybe I just miss understanding it. Oh, 
Oh no, it was... Hmm. I guess it was something from last time that I didn't notice. Still have to unlock all those. Oh, I just have to defeat... Oh, it's 6,000 enemies with Nathan Graves. It's not take damage with it. Right, that's a Spectral Sword unlocked. That unlocks Mina. And she'll be next time with the Refectio. That should be very effortless to win. And another Beswick Bites the Dust. That takes us up to 1,988 done. Gives us a nice little spot here to slip in on the back end. Make sure that we have a large, large amount of characters. Done in a row. Just Mina and whoever's next after that. But Vincent Dorian with his Iron Shield is complete. 844 to go. 118 characters total. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. On the right side is the start of the Beswick. On the left is the next video or the best video. A subscription in the center if you haven't. Thank you anyone who has. And please like, dislike, comment if you haven't. Hope everyone has a good day and you keep messing around in the Vampire Survivors Beswick. Ode to Castlevania style.